Hello everybody, today I'm going to introduce antimatter. Why the matter? Why the antimatter? The scientific belief that everything is symmetry. At left hand, I was at right hand. The room is very light, the other can be very dark. According from symmetry theory, everything in our world is matter. The matter of matter is antimatter. According from Einstein's theory, E squared equals C squared times P squared, plus M squared times C to the fourth. The E squared is always positive. The energy, if the energy is positive, the E squared is, uh, is still positive. However, if the E squared, uh, if the energy is negative, the E squared is still positive. So we can see the positive of energy is matter. The energy of negative is antimatter. In 1996, the organization called CERN in Switzerland, they created the first anti-hydrogen in the laboratory. Mm. The matter and antimatter, when they collide each other, they will create gamma rays and light. And if we had the positive electron is antimatter and the negative electron is matter, if we can see they are colliding each other, we can see the negative electron just like a, a moving particle and moving between the electron hole and the electron hole just like um, positive electron. The same thing in our life, the LCD TV screen. The LCD TV screen is made by N and P. The electron is moving between the electron hole and create light. It's a chemical reaction. So that's why we can watch the, the LCD screen in our house. Okay, back to our uh, topics. We are, where is the antimatter? Like how come we cannot find any antimatter in our life? There are two hypotheses for anti where is antimatter. The first one, gravitation. The matter and matter, there is a force called gravitation. The gravitation attracts each other to be together. The same thing in antimatter. The X gravitation will attract each other and become scattered. However, the antimatter and matter they cannot attract each other. The, gra the gravitation are inverse, so they will repulse each other and become farther and farther and farther. Um, so that's why in our world everything is matter, not but no antimatter. The antimatter should be very far to us in other side of space. The second hypothesis is called weak force. The weak force affects the antimatter decay from a big from a very big part big object and decay to a smaller, smaller and smaller thing. When the big bang appears, the weak force also affects antimatter. So the antimatter becomes less than matter. After a big bang, the antimatter disappears. The matter and the matter left. And the problem is, is made by three quarks. There are six quarks in our life. Up quark, down quark, strong quark, stretch quark, top quark, and bottom quark. And there are two characteristics. Positive two over three and negative one third. The down quark is the lightest one and the top quark is the heaviest one. And the problem is made by two up quarks and one down quark. And the force between them is called electron magnetism. Um, so right now we are I already introduced three forces in our life. However, basically there are four there are main there are four main forces in our life. And the, the last force is called strong force. The strong force is the most strongest is the strongest one for of them. Do you have you ever Think that before, how the proton and neutron uh, become together to make atom. The proton and proton are positive and positive, so they should be repulsed each other. However, because the strong force makes them together, and the strong force is only appear under 10 to the negative 15 meters long, and we can see because the strong force is much stronger than electron magnetism. So that's why the proton and proton and neutron and neutron can be the atom and they will repose each other. 
And here, I want to describe how the, the second hypothesis weak force affects the antimatter decay. Um, the top quark can de decay to bottom quark and stretch quark because the top quark is the heaviest one. And they decay and decay and decay to the up quark. Because the up quark is the lightest one, so it cannot decay again. Mm. And the scientists is not only believe, they, they told that the proton is made by three quarks. However, it's wrong. Because they found there is a proton also made by five quarks. Two up quarks, two down quarks, and one strange quark. So the scientists believe that. There is not only there, the proton is not only made by three quarks. It also can be made by four quarks, six quarks, and so forth, and will be more. Mm. In the movie, there are a lot of movies is talking about uh, they use the antimatter become the bomb, the fuel for the uh, space shuttle. However, in our technology, it's impossible because uh, we only can make five thousand anti hydrogen. And we know one gram of hydrogen is six times uh, ten to the next to the twenty-three atoms. So we compare five thousand atoms and six times ten to twenty-three atoms. It's a very big difference. Also, if we want to make an antimatter, we need to use much more energy to create it. So the antimatter energy is not as much. So um, it's not a good idea to use much more energy to raise the material or money to make just a little thing. Uh, however, if the antimatter is possible in our life and we compare it to the nuclear bomb, we can see the nuclear bomb can transfer about 6% mass to the energy. And the antimatter bomb only can is, uh, the antimatter bomb can transfer 100% mass to the energy. So uh, this is my presentation about antimatter. Uh, thanks for watching.